You'd be forgiven for thinking that HGTV was dead at CES 2014, considering the amount of 4K that's being shown. But we've managed to find Sony's flagship HD model. It's a pretty good-looking beast. The 9 series features the wedge-shaped design that's new for 2014 for Sony and is also on its 4K models. It not only looks great, but also adds greater stability to the TV. An added benefit is you use more space at the bottom so you can add bigger speakers. A big bugbear of modern TVs as they don't sound great, so hopefully this one should bug that trend. The good thing is, you could also buy an optional wireless subwoofer if you truly want to boost the sound even more. Now we've not been too kind about Sony's triluminous displays and its 2013 TVs, but it says that the triluminous, returning for this model, the W9, has been tweaked and refined to give a much more subtle gradient between the primary colours and also the subtle shades. Hopefully we'll find that out in the lab. What also you get that's new with this 2014 model is the extended dynamic range. What that basically means is there's going to be a better gradient between the dark areas and the light areas on screen. So things should, in theory, look more natural. We've also been fairly critical about the usability of Sony's smart TV in the past. So Sony has moved that for 2014 and brought in a new system called One Flick Entertainment. What does that mean? Effectively what you get is a bar at the bottom of the screen and you can use a brand new remote control which allows you to flick instantly between different things such as YouTube content, photos and even apps and video. Hopefully that should make the process of moving around the smart TV even more intuitive and the good news is you can still watch TV at the same time as the bar appears at the bottom of the screen. Just below the W9 is the new W850. It's pretty much the same TV in looks wise, but it doesn't have the extended dynamic range or the triluminous display, and you also don't get the one flick remote included, but you can buy it as an optional extra. So that's it. If you're not sure about 4K in 2014, Sony still has got your back. These two TVs have got incredibly striking looks and some great features, and we really look forward to getting them into the lab and seeing what they can do. Click on the links below for more on Sony's 4K TVs, also a detailed report on Samsung's new flagship HD TV, and everything else at CES 2014.